thrilled to be here with Vim Papa Pietro at the fifth annual Pebble Beach Food and Wine Festival. This is a fantastic event for the Central Coast and uh, one we've participated in since the beginning. We really like this event. This gives us an opportunity to really target people that uh, we're looking for, California people that like California Pinot Noir. So you've been here for all five years. What kind yeah. of changes have you seen? Well, it's become more popular. Yeah. People get the word gets out and people come to it and they really have a good time because of greatest chefs and uh, great wineries. It's really, a, you can find it from all over the world. So it's great uh, to be able to taste these wines besides pouring at the event. Some amazing wineries, uh, Papa Pietro Perry, one of them. Uh, but some of the wines that you're interested in trying while you're here and some of the chefs that you're excited to see? Oh, uh, Tyler Florence and uh, Morimoto and she's uh, it goes on a big list. So this is my first time at the event. Do you have any uh, advice for the novice? Oh, just try everything. Just This is where you find the hard to find stuff. Massi over on that side, one of my favorite Amarone Italian producers is over there. So I'm going to sneak over there. And the food, I mean, it, it's amazing what they do in the little spot here. Each one spaced evenly so you can have a couple glasses of wine and then go nibble on something. Talk about amazing wine. Let's talk about Papa Pietro Perry for anyone who's not familiar. Tell us a little bit about your winery and some of the amazing things you guys are doing? Well, we do 10 Pinot Noirs from the Russian River. We do Sonoma Coast and uh, Anderson Valley also. So we're a Pinot specialist. We love Pinot, so that's, we try to keep it simple, just do Pinot. And we, do Pinot and more Pinot, huh? And more Pinot. A little bit of Zinfandel because we're located on Dry Creek. We want to be a good neighbor, so I produce a little Zin, but Pinot is what we're all about. And we're all about trying some of this Pinot right now. What do you got for us, Ben? Well, today we have the Russian River uh, Valley Blend and our Laris family vineyard which are two of our really uh, high-end wines would show really well for this event. I like to call this the 1% of it event but people will get mad at me but it is like a, some high-end amazing wine so I'm gonna try this and what do you pair with this? I would do anything from salmon to duck mushroom soup we had last night was fantastic wild mushroom soup and uh, we had a little foie gras, which is probably, uh, people are not happy with that, but went really well with it. Oh, were people pissed off about foie gras? Well, I never know how to say it. it. Is it foie gras, foie gras, yo gras? Foie gras. Foie gras. Well, you won't have to worry. It's going to be done. They've, they, oh, they've they, outlawed it. You they've know? outlawed it. Yeah, so, like, like the shark fin soup? They got rid of that too, uh, right? Yeah, just kind of the same way. But it's a shame because it's really a, a product that's misunderstood. And it's a wonderful product. It's been around for a couple thousand years. Right. And so they're stopping us from enjoying uh, something that's really fabulous. They can never stop us from enjoying your fabulous wine. <laughs> There's no more prohibition in our world, right? Well, it's good to see you at another wine event. We, we get, you do get around. <laughs> I, I get around, Ben. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.